I love thrifting and I always look in the purse section when I'm going thrift shopping. I have found some beautiful pieces in the thrift store that have added some style to my my wardrobe, some amazing pieces that I think you will like to. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Zara and today we're going to talk about my favorite thrifted purses. I've been thrifting for a very long time and when I'm looking for a new piece, I always like to go to the thrift store before buying new just to help the environment. And I've realized that I have found a lot of really great pieces from the thrift store and I've added to my collection over the years. And this video will show you some of my favorite ones that I found. First things first, I want to talk about what I look for when I'm going thrift shopping for a purse. Some things that I look for when I'm thrift shopping for a new bag is uh, the structure, the color, um, the wear and tear on it, the fabric itself. I want to make sure that it's, uh, it's in decent condition. It's something that I will use for a long time. Um, I want to make sure that it adds to my already exist existing style and not taking away from it. Um, I want to make sure that it's something that I will use and I'm not taking it away from someone else just because I like it. Another thing that I really look for is the handle and the, the strap on it. I want to make sure that it's in good condition. I don't want it to fall apart on me when I'm using the bag which has happened before. It is a lesson I have learned the hard way. Um, I want to make sure that the bottom of the bag is in good condition. I don't want anything falling out or falling through the purse. And on the inside of the purse, I want to make sure that it doesn't have any rips or tears, that um, small things will go through and I will lose them in there. And finally, I look at the color. I want to make sure that the color is something that suits my style and uh, something that I will actually reach for when I'm putting an outfit together or a look together. I don't want to uh, collect a bag and let it sit there and collect dust in my closet and space. So let's go. This bag is new to my wardrobe. I actually have not had the opportunity to wear it out yet or pair it with an outfit yet because of the pandemic, but I'm hoping soon enough that I will be able to use this cute bag. And it's this one. Look how cute this bag is. It's very Chanel inspired and I love the strap on it. It's adjustable. The buckle right here is cute. It looks like it's brand new. It looks like it's never been used. It has a couple pockets on the inside, one with a zipper and one without. And overall, just in really great condition for the price that I paid. That was like five or seven dollars. The leather itself is very soft. There's no uh, stains, rips, or tears on this, and I can't wait to use this more often in the summer or any time of the season. This clutch. I bought this clutch at the thrift store for $2.99, and it is crocodile print. Uh, I think it's faux leather. I'm not sure who the designer is. It must have been a part of another uh, purse, but I was a only able to find this one and it's really roomy. The seams on the inside, I make sure that it is in really good working condition with no rips or tears in them. I don't want to lose anything on the inside. Um, I like that it comes completely closed. Uh, for easy access or re open really easily with the magnets here and it is big enough to put my phone in there uh, as well as some lipstick and maybe my uh, cards and some other makeup pieces. 
When I used to work in an office, I used to wear this bag on a regular basis. It was one of my staple pieces for a professional style or look and it's very versatile in that I can fit my laptop in here, um, a lot of space for a little bag and it's this one. It looks brand new and I've had it for almost three years now. It's in such great condition. The, it has a lot of pockets and space. Lots and lots of room for all your essentials and I've even traveled with this bag and it has held up really, really well. And this bag is originally from RW and Co. So if you're looking for a really great purse and you can't find it at the thrift store, RW and Co. Look at this. Very, very cute. The handle is really great the leather itself is very soft the stitching is really well done and nothing as long as I've had it no stitching has come undone and it's wonderful next is this little shoulder bag which looks like um, a few designers that I really like but I don't really want to spend a lot of money on um, on their pieces uh, it has a long strap on it and pockets on both sides, uh, the little detailing of the, this with the tassel, um, the gold detailing is really great. Um, great for a summer outfit to go out to the bar with some friends or to uh, on a cute date, you can put it over your shoulder. It doesn't take a lot of space. It's, the leather is in really great condition. The one thing that I am a bit, um, Concern that I didn't notice at the time was when I purchased it, I didn't see this tiny little wear on it. But for a piece that looks to be pretty old, is in really good condition actually. The one thing that I never thought I would actually buy is a fanny pack. But now that I have one, I find them to be super useful, especially in the summer when I'm going out for a walk with my dog and I need something that I can put my phone, um, some money in, my keys and some treats for my dog. And this has been so useful. It's one of my most useful purses in the summer and it's just really great. Originally, it's from Mia and Luca. And the material is like a faux leather, uh, it's very soft. Um, the pocket in the back allows me to just put it, allows easy access for my phone or my uh, keys or like book bags. Um, the main pocket here, lots and lots of room for a little bag. It has a lot of secure pockets, which is a great thing, especially if I'm opening and closing it often. So this has been one of my most used items I've ever had or purchased from a thrift store. And it's a fanny pack. I never thought I would actually buy a fanny pack. Another clutch that I really like is this one. Um, I like the gold detailing on it. Um, I like the gold overall. Um, my favorite thing, my favorite jewelry style is gold, if you cannot tell. I love gold <laughs> and this really adds to uh, my already existing style and it's something that I reach for when I go on dates and or dinner with friends and or a cute addition to any, any outfit. Another really great structured piece is this bucket bag. I, I'm not sure if it's considered a bucket bag but it feels like a bucket bag. I really like the gold detailing on the handle, the clasp here. Um, I love the shiny gold on it. It looks really old. It does look very vintage. Um, the leather is starting to crack a bit. And the thing about this is that the purse itself is very This is very stiff. It's very stiff. It's like the stiffest bag I own. It's very structured. Um, 
I'm not sure who the designer is. It's got a little tiny horse right here. Uh, it's not coach, but it's a different. Very cute. And finally, we've come to the end of the video and I wanted to show you this big yellow bag from Zara. Um, this bag has come with me on several different trips to Hawaii and it is one of my favorite bags to travel with. The size of it, the, the fact that there is a, another little bag in here where it's zip, it's also attached to the main bag. Um, I like the fabric, the color of it. I just, you can't mistake this anywhere. So I like the, the strap itself where it's got leather on top and it's um, this rope material at the, at the bottom parts here. I've used this for when I've gone to the beach even. It's just, the sand just wipes off easily and it's actually very light on its own. Um, as a carry-on bag, it, it fit a lot of things in here. I can't believe I bought this from the thrift store. You've come to the end of the video. I'm so happy that you were able to join me for this video. And uh, if you like this video, please leave a comment, um, like and subscribe and share this video. And I hope to see you next week. Bye.